Hello, today I'm going to show you how to get the most out of your Blue VOD for your Superbox if you're not familiar with how to use this particular app. All I ask is that you hit the subscribe button for my channel so you can keep on getting more information on how to use your device. So you help me and I help you and I really appreciate that. So thank you very much for that, for hitting the subscribe button right now. Thank you. <laughs> And let's get on with this tutorial before you click away and go to another video. Okay, there are three ways to open up your Blue VOD app. And the first way is to scroll down to it and open it up. And it'll count up and your app will open. Okay, hit the back button. Just, 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 just to show you, okay, so I'm gonna hit the back button. Come on, focus, hit the back button. And then I'm gonna hit confirm. Second way that you can open up the Blue VOD app. If you have the microphone, Blue microphone on your remote, just hold it and say Blue VOD. You know, try to pronounce it correctly so to get the right thing to open it up. So here we go. Blue VOD. And then put it down there. And that's the second way you can open up your app. Okay, hit the back button and hit confirm. Now here's the third way you can open up your Blue VOD app. And this is only, um, this only works with your S5 and newer boxes. If you have an S4 and below and older, it does not work with that. It, that you cannot do this, but if you have an S5 or newer, all you have to do is hit the green button on here and that will open up your Blue VOD. So that's how we can open up the app and get it started, okay? Now that the app is open, let me show you one of the main thing that happens with this uh, Blue VOD app. And this is on all super boxes that I know of. When you click on your movie, you're gonna click on it and then you're gonna click OK for play. And all you're gonna see is just this buffer circle and your movie will not play. So what you have to do is hit the back button and replay it. And if you see this a minus 17 in the bottom, that's even worse and I'll show you how to fix that. But all you have to do is just hit the back button or you could sit here and wait for it to play. But if you hit the back button, hit confirm and then hit play again, your movie should start playing immediately. So that's how you, if that. you see a red 17 in the bottom of your screen when it's buffering, you see a red negative 17, hitting the back button is not going to fix it. The only way you can fix that on your blue VOD is to come to your box and this fix almost any issue on your box. Unplug your power cord, plug it back in, restart your box. That's a hard reset for your box. And then you can go through those steps and your movie should play after that, okay? So that's what you wanna do if your movie is, you got that buffer <laughs> circle on, on your movies, okay? So let's go to something else that you may find interesting. Okay, so this is your home screen. At the top you have recommended. They're gonna just show you these recommended things. They're pretty much always the same. You scroll over to newest, they'll show you a couple of new things, you know, and then you get to your movie category. They're going to show you a couple of things on your movie category. But if you want to see more movies, you have to scroll down over here to where it shows movies. And then you're going to get more categories for your movies. See, you got all genres, your new releases, action, adventure, animation, biography, comedy, crime. You get all these different uh, categories for your movies to watch, okay? So, and just find the category that you're interested in and then, you know, scroll through it. <laughs> it didn't focus. Scroll through your movies and find your categories and watch your movies. And if you know what your movie is, you can go to search. And over here, oh, 
Okay, you can go to search, you can click on search, and you can type in the name of your movie that you're looking for. If you know the name of the movie and everything, you just type in the name of the movie. So that's one way you can find your movie that you are looking for. So let's say you wanna just, you know, um, save movies that you want to look at later and stuff like that you can always add them to your favorite just click on the movie category it doesn't matter just click on the movie click on it and then over here you just scroll to favorite and now you added the movie to your favorite so you can go do that and just as you browse and you'd be like oh I want to watch that I want to watch this I want to watch that just click on them add them to your favorite and then keep on browsing and see what you want to watch. And then you have a whole bunch of favorites to look at later on. And then after you watch your movie, you click on it and then you could come back over here and uncheck it and remove it from your favorite. So you don't have a whole bunch of favorites and different things <laughs> that you don't need because you don't seen the movie already, unless you really like the movie and you just want to watch it over and over again. So yeah, that's how you save your favorites to your movies. And then, you know, you just hit your back button and you're back on your main screen. And then you have your TV series, which is pretty much like your movies. You click on your TV series and you have to come down here to TV series. And you click on that. And it's practically like your movie, same thing. You know, you just go through it and you look for your shows and you come down here and favorite and these will also be in your favorite at the same time too so that's how you can uh, do your favorites and stuff for your tv series and watch your tv series another good thing that you can do uh, is that you can use the voice search at any point whether you're on your newest movies or TV show. It doesn't matter which category you are, but as long as you're on one of these screens and you hold down the voice, you can um, let, me, let me and just say something like, for instance, um, like you interested in the movie Star Wars, so I'm going to go Star Wars, okay? Star Wars. And it's going to bring up all of the movies and TV series for Star Wars. But let's say I just want the movies and not the TV series. I need to come up here and uncheck the TV series. I'm gonna just uncheck the star then director and then just go back over here to the microphone and hit the okay button. And now I have just the movies only down here okay and that would be the same if i want the tv series i would uncheck the movie and check the tv series and go back to the search button and now i have the tv series of the star wars and stuff like that and this is one thing that happens a lot of times too i'm uh i'm gonna hit the um let me click on this I'm gonna hit the back button and get to like the main thing. Like it's this television show called From. And a lot of times when you hit the microphone and say something like that, you may not see it. Let's see what happened. From. Okay, so it's there in the bottom. <laughs> I didn't get, I kept on talking. It kept on picking me up. Ah, look at that. That's not what I want. Hit the back button. I'm going to just say from and let it populate. <laughs> from. Okay, here we go. So it's going to give me all this, but th I don't see the actual TV show that I was interested in on here, you know? So if I want to find the TV show that I'm interested in, I need to uncheck the movie so I can minimize it take the stars off and take the director off and just keep the name and TV series check and hit that. And there you go. I have the movie from the TV show from. So that's how you can find your TV show search a lot easy, easier or uh, movie search, whatever you're looking for. Uncheck if it's movie or serious, uh, you know, choose the 
category that you really want for that. So that's how you do that. So I'm gonna go back to the home screen and we're gonna go over some other stuff. Okay, now that we're on our home screen, we know how to do a search so we don't need to go to the search, but you click on your favorite. This is where you can get to all your favorites. You can get to your favorites from here. You can play your favorites from here or you can remove your favorites from here. You can click on them and this is gonna be all. It's showing all of your favorites. If you just want your movies, you can go to the movies. If you want your TV series, you can go to the TV series. And then, like I said, if you want to remove you, your TV series from here, you just click on it and then just go ahead and uncheck it from favorites. And then it would, it'll be gone. But I don't want to uncheck it, you know. So, hey, so that's how you um, go to your favorites. And then... Let's say you're just watching stuff and you forgot what you was watching. You come to your history and it'll show you everything that you was watching, all of them, today, if that's what you were watching yesterday. I don't know what that, no viewing history. I guess I didn't watch nothing yesterday. And then more, whatever this is, you know, it just shows, I guess it's showing all your stuff. But, you know, you could find what you was kind of watching on here. <laughs> so... There you go. That's how you use the blue VOD. And I hope you enjoy it. Please, please subscribe to the channel. I need the subscriptions. Thank you very much. And I will give you so much content. I promise you. Just subscribe. You won't regret it. Bye.